Hello Troopers, how are we doing? So, today we have the Cosvox Palm Module. Um, basically, a sound glove. Um, obviously, it comes from Cosvox. Um, doing a lot of Cosvox products at the moment. This works with the um, Cosvox Sound Module. Um, we're just going to go through what you get in the bag and how to make it function. Obviously, you get a bit of an instruction sheet, which is you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, you then get the bag or the pouch or uh, glove, whatever you want to call it. This will actually go on your wrist. It's got two pouches either side. Um, one of the sides has two slits in either end so that you can put wires through. Um, obviously, for your hand control and to your speaker, if you're going to do for your speaker, uh, you get a single trigger. And you get a like triple, one, two, three of the triggers um, that goes on your palm. Obviously, hence the reason it's called palm trigger. And then you get a strip of Velcro, which helps this stay on your palm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the actual Vox module, cost Vox module, into the pouch and then show you kind of how it would work. Um, if you get the side that's got the uh, the slit in it, we're going to put that in through there, okay, and then we will connect that up to your voice module, your sound module, voice module, sound module. Um, that goes through there quite well. Um, like I said, you get this trigger in it. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use one of my own. It's the same. It's the same trigger. It's the same Vos, Vo, Vox, uh, Cosvox trigger. I've just connected it to pieces of elastic so because that could slip over your fingers a lot easier. So that's that. Okay. So we we've got those wires poked through, and then we're going to connect them up. Remember to connect them to the right. Um, the right thing obviously because that's your lights that's your triggers for your lights and s obviously is for sound so we're going to connect each one of these i'm always a little concerned with these things because they're so little that i'm going to break the pins it's you know obviously not great to keep unconnecting or disconnecting reconnecting but if you can keep them connected for a longer period of time that would be your best bet. Let's get that last one in. And we're in. Okay. So that's now gonna slip inside there. As I, as I said, oh no, I need to connect them to the speaker. Obviously, this is the speaker. This is the one that comes with you your device. So I'll tell you what, let's go through there and see if this works. I haven't done this yet, so we're gonna put that through there I mean what, you, what the whole idea of this other slit is for if you've got a, um, a a larger external speaker which I have we'll be going through that one at a later date so that's that speaker through there so that's that in that pocket so we're going to flip that over and we're going to put the speaker and the battery pack in this side let's put the battery pack long ways obviously because if it's going under armor you're gonna need it that way and we'll put the back the speaker at that end like show okay so that's them that's everything in the pack and ready to go Let's try and get that in there a bit more see like I said I think that the wires are a bit of an issue but uh, uh, it's not too much to be uh, worried about as long as you've got everything in there and it's functioning right then that's that right okay so this is the this is the bit that goes obviously the velcro that goes around the, your palm so that goes in one in that side like that and one in that side like that so that can then slip over your palm and you can have that as tight as you want 
Okay, so now let's put this on. I found putting everything in the pack first before you put it on works for me, but everybody can do whatever they like differently. He says, <laughs> trying with all his might to actually get it to fit. Hey, there we go. So like I said, with the, the battery that way will fit under your armor. If you're if you're doing it under armor, I mean it depends what, what you're cosplaying, obviously. Um and it's it's comfortable, I mean, compared to the previous ones that I've made. So that will go onto your palm, so that's quite easy to do. That just slips on there. Get it in you know comfy position, fasten it down with the velcro. So that's there, and as you can see, that's where you're going to be triggering with that. This is the other one. Uh, I put it on my thumb. Um, reason why I put it on my thumb. <laughs> it's an easy trigger like that, and you can also trigger it against things. Yeah, but obviously this is going to be under a glove as well. So that's going to do the job. Like the beauty is, if I put it in the right way up, you you can still work the on-off switch. Which is cool because obviously when you're getting dressed and when you're getting ready, you don't want to be triggering, 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 which is what happens when you're getting dressed up sometimes. So let's turn it on and see if we're there. So let's start with. Do you know what's going on? Yeah, cool. And then you got your hand triggers. Look, sir, drawing. <laughs> Let me see your identification. We don't need to see his identification. Do you know what's going on? How long have you had these droids? Look, sir, droid. Let me see your identification. So there we go. As you can see, it's really well. It's, I'm I'm impressed with it. Um, I think it works really well. Um, it's a lot better than the. I mean, I mean, I made something out of just bits of elastic that were stuck together, um, holding things on. But for me, this is much. You know, it's 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 a lot. Obviously, it's it's made for the purpose that it's made for. Um, Obviously, it's available on the Cosfox website. It's available on uh, their SD. Um, it's I think it's twenty about twenty two quid. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't necessarily th think it's worth twenty two quid. Um, I'm not saying that it's it's not any good. It's really good. Um, I think value for money wise, probably fifteen quid. I think personally, but hey, I, I bought it. Um, I like it. I'm going to use it. It's really good. It's really, you know, it does the job very well. Um, Look, sir, as you can see. Do you know what's going on? Um, yeah, there's not a lot more I can say. Um, I'm going to try it. Well, I've, I have actually tried it. I'm not going to do that in a video, but I've tried it under under armor and under a glove, and it works. It works perfectly for my application, which is obviously stormtrooper, shadow trooper. Um, but I would, I'd highly recommend you get one. Uh, if you've got a, if you've got the old um, Cosvox, I'd highly recommend you get one of these. Um, it's really good. It does the job that it says. Um, we're going to be doing another Cosvox video very soon, um, but I think that's about all I've got time for today. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Um, check out Cos Cosvox. They've got some really good products. And how long have you had these droids? <laughs> That's about all I got time for today. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Hold on. Hold on. You can go about your business. <laughs>